morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today we are talking about Bitcoin. Bitcoin TA on this beautiful Friday, the 9th of September. Let's see what the Bitcoin price is doing when we go into the weekend. I have four amazing charts and then another five amazing 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 charts so it's like nine amazing charts on this beautiful friday watch the video till the end because you don't want to miss out on the last couple of charts because they are really cool now let's quickly jump into the charts to show you what is happening Here, this is the first one guys you can see this is the 15 minute chart and um, this is the 15 minute chart on trading view and yes we are using the bam bam indicator over there the bam bam indicator if you want to get access to that one bam you go to the bitcoinfamily.com you go to the products you will find all the indicator packages over there but back to the 15 minute why do should you have the bam bam indicator now because it indicates when it's the most perfect time to take a long now for example this long over here i'm going to analyze on the 15 minute there was a long flag the candle closed above the yellow setting line there was a shitload of green that gives a long indication and the bitcoin bam bam was above the white line and pointing upwards the white line now that is the perfect moment to enter a long that's like a quadruple confirmation above the line we have a huge green area we have this beautiful l over here we have the flag over here the long over there this is the quadruple confirmation you need to have or you want to have and if you calculate can we calculate a profit then is this calculating tool still working that would be a profit you you can exit at the short flag or when the candle closes down below the yellow stepping line depending on how big the move is if the move is really big you will know that you are in profit even when you close down below the stepping line so you will stay in if the move is a small move then you might better exit at the short you know you hope you understand this now at the moment you would be in a profit of 6.3 percent without leverage if you use leverage which you ob uh, obviously can use on uh, platforms like for example bybit this is my favorite uh, trading platform and um, if you use a leverage of 10 that would be a 60 percent profit that's a huge profit that you can make if you want to have access to buy this and you can scan the qr code or click the link down below our videos you will get access but you will also get a, a four thousand i think it's even four thousand eight hundred dollar bonus at the moment plus 30 percent free discount and you get free access to the bit uh, launch pad plus at the moment bybit um, has zero percent fees on spot trading and the first 100 people that sign up to buy with now they um, and trade with 10 us dollar they get 10 us dollar for free to play with as well guys now that's really cool offer of vibit so that's also why it's my favorite account and yes uh, exchange i need to say and as of course they sponsor verstappen bam that was enough vibe chill over there yes didi you're a shiller <sighs> God, I get sick of those comments. But now that's the Bam Bam indicator. Now let's uh, quickly zoom out to the one day channel. I've been telling you guys um, that we need to keep an eye on that downward whitish trend line. Now I moved the trend line a little bit. Why? I was just um, imagining that this top was already over there. Like how would the trend line look? And then it would be like resistance, 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 came and break it, support, 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 break it, resistance again resistance somewhere here so we would meet the trend line around 22k 23k as a resistance previously i had the trend line from the top over there and okay, yeah something like this so then it could take longer that's a difference on some people say yeah this was a fake top there was not the real top the real top was already over there blah blah now that all is possible so then you could reach the line a little bit higher at 26 or later you know and then again at 22 so there's a lot of possibilities in bitcoin but for me the indication that we are around the bottom i have been seeing it now many times also over here this is a five day chart guys this is the gaussian channel as you know um on the gaussian channel uh, what is this this is the Gaussian channel. As you know, the Gaussian channel, every time you break out of the Gaussian channel, now here we feel it fall, fell with 50% downwards. Now that was the bottom. Again here, 54%. That's again, in my opinion, around the bottom. Now, 
we stayed below that Gaussian channel exactly 51 bars so that's 255 days this is a five day chart so every candle is five days that's how uh, 51 bars can be 255 days hmm. the moment that we broke into that channel again the price uh, rose tremendously to that 14k and we came back into the channel and we found support at the bottom COVID crash into the channel again and when we broke out of it and retested it and stayed above it that was when this huge run was now i expect something like that again you know we are down below it and we should be going into it and that could take again 51 bars that's 255 days it could take all the way till like almost december before we get into it again and then when we get into it we can pump above it and we can still come back and we can another do another run before that we get like all bullish and it could take all the way to the halving of 2024 but there's an amazing chart that is coming later that will show this but just to show you how the gaussian channel will probably come down i can draw it a little bit like this so it will be falling down 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 and then turning again up, 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 up something like that and then the price will do something of course like this and then it will come in maybe and then we'll come back you know something now nah, that's like a bad drawing but that is how the gaussian channel moves if you look at the weekly then we can see that the first time uh, there was already a long flag over here and now we we can see that there is a, a huge wick to the bottom like this weekly candle over here is forming and it's taking another two days guys so another two days and 17 hours before the uh, candle closes but we already see a huge wick to the bottom and a small body i hope that we close a little bit higher like around the 20,700. Then we would have a beautiful green candle with a long way to the bottom in my opinion a very nice candle to make it an upwards move like this candle over here when we had a long wick small body upwards move long candle and a small body so we need to close a little bit higher like i say 20,700 or something then we get a beautiful move afterwards in my opinion again beautiful on the weekly now in the monthly uh, i keep saying every time when that orange line crossed that blue line that was when the bottom was in when the orange line crossed the blue line, that was when the bottom was in. When the orange line crossed the blue line, that was when the bottom was in. And this candle was closed in 21 days and 17 hours. But on the bottom, that was bottom a lot of times in this sentence, uh, we can see this beautiful uh, MACD over here. And we can see, um, for the first time again, uh, less red, like a whitish red, pinkish candle. And that uh, means that that bearish uh, momentum is um, decreasing and that is something that we really want to see because look every time when that happens we can see that the red is going down and down and then we become greenish and that's bullish so that is very important that we now see this pinkish 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 bar in that MACD uh, let's see what it will follow but it will take another ah, did you, why do you have all that information on the chart but that will take some time guys uh, because we have another 21 days before that one will close now um, I hope that was all a little bit uh, clear um, and I hope uh, you also understand that you can scan the QR code to get to buy bit now we are going to jump into some more amazing charts keep on hanging in here there's a lot of stuff and information but it's a Friday I'm giving some extra information to you guys on a beautiful Friday. Hmm. A Bam Bam Friday. Um, because tonight we have a beautiful party at the Bam Bam Beach Bar. Which, by the way, is over there. You can't see it at the moment. But if I would turn my screen, you could see that the sea and the beach is over there. And that's where the party is tonight. Now, let's quickly jump into the other charts, guys. Over, um, let's see, over here? Yes, over here. My God, TD, you are so good. Oh, that was really arrogant now um this one is the days below the realized price guys now in every bear market we spent a amount of days below the um the realized price so there was one uh, one almost 150 days in uh, 2012 it was 300 days in 2015 16 it was 140 days that was not that many uh, over here guys in 2019 and at the moment we are 56 days down below the realized price the price is at 21,500 and uh, at the moment that the chart was drawn was 18,000 at the moment we are already at 20k so but we are still down below the 21 542 
which means we are still below that price. It can take a little bit longer. It can take another 100 days. It can take another 250 days, um, or it can take another 100 days, guys. So, in average, it can take an, uh, another 150 days, I think. So, that would be another five months that we would spend below that. So, that's all possible in Bitcoin. Be prepared to buy those dips now the next chart that i want to share with you guys is the amount of supply that was last active in the last five to seven years there's a lot of bitcoins in the market and then you have uh, bitcoins that are active or not active and non-active means they have been stayed still in the whole portfolio wallet of you so in your ledger or whatever so the supply that was last active like five to seven years ago um, that is making again a beautiful upward trend and that one is now about 1 million BTC uh, level is over here so that was there the last time we had these levels was over here guys all the way in 2020 that was when we dropped and now we are coming up again so that means people start to huddle again they are huddling their bitcoins and that's how the bitcoins become um, less active and that's why uh, the last active amount of bitcoins like between five and seven years is growing so that is very positive to me that this line is going up people are huddling and that's what they should be doing because if you look at this chart that we can see that we always move in these nice um, patterns and these patterns have been going on for ages look 2012 13 14 we are 15, 16, 17, going in the run again. Now, and we, if we take four years later, so this is 2012 that we start, four years later, 2016, then we can see again that we are following that path. Yes, we peaked a little bit more early than we should have because this is normally the peak. And now, again, we are following that line. So there will be a bump up again around this same period here. And and that is when the CAGR, that is the most important part of the chart in the bottom, um, is going to go up again. I think my face is not it's perfect. That is the moment when we will go up because now we only have a 32% in the last four years. So that's not good because on average we had like 235, 146, 170, 178. But every time around the bottom, 50, 70, 86 even 24 now 32 so i think in the future we will again see 178 levels around there and that means there will be a peak again around there a lot of information now are these the only reasons that you should be in bitcoin now also um, i think this one is very important um I, uh, I saw it today on instagram somewhere i think otto gomez and um, this is like uh, the text uh, rules in California. Yeah, in California. I almost want to say Californication because it's one of my favorite uh, series, but uh, Hank Moody, Californication, but California. If you have a gross income of 1.5 million, guys, then federal tax is 500k, state tax is 180k, social security 9k, Medicare 33k, state disability 600, the total tax will be 740, your net income will be 758 that's like more than 50 percent almost going to taxes and all that stuff now that is the reason why i'm in bitcoin as well not um to illegally not pay taxes but to be legally avoiding to pay taxes in portugal for example where bitcoin is still taxed with zero percent and there's many more countries like el salvador or switzerland or even the netherlands and germany have be beautiful tax rules when it comes to bitcoin only one percent or even zero percent in germany when you hold it longer than a year so there is a lot of possibilities to be in Bitcoin, ex uh, experience deflation. Your capital is only becoming more valuable, more worth. So uh, one Bitcoin buys me more potatoes every year. I get more potatoes or fricandella or whatever your passion of food is for one Bitcoin. One euro buys you less potatoes every year. Even this year, again, 10% less potatoes because you hodl euro. I hodl Bitcoin. I buy more potatoes on average every year. Now, and that combination when not needing to pay tax on your capital in Portugal is the perfect reason to be in Bitcoin. Also, yeah. you will feel home at the Bitcoin community because we are same-minded people, like-minded people that all believe in freedom. And for me, Bitcoin is the most important tool that we have been given to reach freedom state of everything, to decentralize the world, make it a real democracy, but a democracy 
that is steered by human beings that are fighting for freedom. Now, that is the reason to be in Bitcoin as well. Now, that was everything for this beautiful day. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment. And in my yesterday's video, I completely forgot to say happy birthday, Yomi, because my niece in Venlo yesterday, Yomi, uh, became five years old. She was in the video a few times before. Yomi, happy birthday. Uh, sorry, I didn't call you tomorrow. Uh, the yesterday, I will call you today. Today, today. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, Yomi. Love you to the moon and back. Thanks for watching the video and see you tomorrow again guys.